What's going on, son? I've got a Hudson Bay Gorget made in prior around the 1700s. Hey, Rick. What's up? What in the hell's a 4J? <laughs> Came into the pawn shop today to see if I could sell my Hudson Bay Gorget. Hudson Bay is one of the oldest companies in the world. I want to try to get 100000 out of it, but I'll have to see what he offers me. What do you know about this thing? Uh, as far as I know, it was uh, made by Hudson Bay, somewhere probably around 1700s. I don't know a whole lot about it. My dad actually got it. He picked it up at an auction. Do you know what he paid for it? A uh, second mortgage on his house. OK. These go way back in time. I mean, even the Romans had them. It was to defend against a knife thrust or a sword thrust to your neck. I know the Hudson Bay Company was one of the oldest companies in North America. They were a trade company. You know, they basically traded with Indians. Hell, Rick, me pioneering this shop, maybe I ought to wear something like that. No, I don't uh, think that would fit around your head. <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right. Um, it looks like it have, might have been a trade piece to the Indians. That's Venetian glass. Yeah. And the glass beads is completely normal. They had to trade the Indians something for this. They didn't want cash. They didn't want coins. Yeah. They wanted stuff. Yeah. And how much you want for it? Uh, probably about 100000 You know, um, I don't see that happening. Why not? Because I think it's worth a lot less. How much less? Like 99,000 less. I can tell you right now it's not 1700s. Learn. OK? Because you see this weird, this yellow gray patina that's on it? Yeah. OK? Uh, that tells me right away it's nickel silver. OK. OK? They're right around 20% zinc, 20% copper, 60% nickel. Zinc wasn't isolated really until the 1800s. All right, what the f are you talking about? Son, I, you're way out of line. I'm basically, I'm just trying to tell you I'm not bull you. I've seen auctions for these things, and they generally go for right around 1500 bucks. All right. Um, I'd offer you 1000 bucks. I don't know what you're smoking, man, but that's not going to work. So I'm going to take my stuff and leave. All right, have a nice day. That guy. I think he just thinks I'm some punk kid and wanted to lowball me. I'm disappointed I couldn't make a deal. I would have liked to have made the money. 